Hey everybody, my name is Tektos and this is Let's Play Old World. We're almost there with our settler. One more turn and uh, we are in the progress of clearing this barbarian camp, which, yeah, don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's uh, just end the year and get things moving, shall we? This number, by the way, for anybody who didn't pay attention, it tells you <clears throat> how fast they're going to reproduce a new worker, whatever. Oh, we can promote hatchet suit. I didn't see that. Um, apparently we gained a level, so we get extra wisdom. Charisma or discipline? Well, the thing we need most currently is science. So we're going to go with wisdom. Also makes sense for me. She's 48 now. Uh, she has zero wisdom. I mean, <laughs> you would at least have one, right? Alrighty, so now we have uh, 17 orders available, which is quite a lot. To be fair, quite a lot. And uh, we got a settler there. And we should bring him up to uh, the next city side there. Into... Oh, which tile? We could go here. Um, probably over there. So these regions here, the uh, hills, are good for harvesting iron. Uh, these spots close to the mountains are good for harvesting stone, which we also need. I mean, we need them all. We need all the resources. So let's go for this middle spot here. Um, and we need to discover a bit more over there. But for now, let's go here. Why are you not moving? Because mm, you can't reach that far. Okay, so we'll just bring you here then. You're still not moving. So we'll bring you here. What the hell is this mode? Cancel action queue. I don't want an action queue. I just want you to move. So up to here you can move. There you go. How did I go into this action queue mode? Who knows? Who cares? All right. Um, we got... Hang on. We got what to do. Um, number one, we need to heal you. Let's do the important stuff first before we run out of orders and realize we need them. Number two is we want to move you down here while we still have... Actually, we want to add a general, maybe. Ah, but we don't have the training points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can't get that done. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure if I was... Was I hemming and hawing last episode about not being able to put a general on... Uh, my son as a general into this? It turns out that uh, the generals have to be of the same family that produced the military unit. I really wasn't aware of that. It's not explained anywhere, but apparently that's what it is. So we're going to have to eventually produce a unit in Vasset, in our capital. Which is not great, because uh, that's not really... Vasset doesn't really have a lot of uh, production points. For military, that is. All right, uh, so now we have you available here. Um, we want Vasset to churn out workers and settlers, if possible at all. So we're going to go over here and start the granary. And we're going to eventually need an additional worker. Granary, there we go. It's going to cost us two, oh no, 40 wood. But, um, it's going to give us an extra growth, which will make the production of these farms of uh, these uh, settlers and workers faster because we need to connect all these cities through roads I mean if you hold and press V by the way you can uh, see that uh, this city here is connected through the river so that's not an issue but this city side won't be connected and this city side up here also won't be connected so we need a road there and okay so we did all the things so now we have some points I think we'll be good if we move up this hill um, and then go over here, and then we should be able to get back. Cool. Okay. Now, can we still check out the sites? Yes, we can. Cool. Okay, so we can go over there. Mm. What will that do for us? We get a couple more of these uh, tree, arid hill trees, shrubbery. Not really sure. We got some forest over here. Um, with this spot here, we... Oh, the good thing, though, would be... This here is also interesting. But what can we do on this here? Lush, flat... 
and clear. Probably for farming. Um, it would. This spot here is also very interesting. It would give us a couple more of these hills. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna need. We want the marble. And then probably these tiles around here for stone cutting. The marble's always part of that. Um, this here is also interesting, but we don't really need these lands closer to there. What does that do? That just gives an additional... Uh -huh. So here would be nice, or here. I think we'll go... Or this side, actually. Gives a lot of hills. Yeah, you know what, we'll put it here. It'll give us these hills. So we'll have the hills for uh, stone cutting and mines. And then over here, some food production. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, reason being... It's closer to our capital, so uh, the road to build is shorter, and we also it's more defensible. Because, like I said, the AI in this game does not mess around. Um, if they see weakness, they will attack. Without second thought. And there's no TH in second, I'm aware of that. <laughs> second thought. Okay, and then we're out of order. So 17 orders look a lot, but they're really not. Uh, they really go very quickly. Um, okay, so one or two more turns, then we should be able to clear out that. Oh, Neferuri and my daughter... Uh, my daughter Neferuri and uh, Prince Consort Peppy have given birth to a daughter. Sobek Neferu. Sobek Neferu. Jesus, that's an interesting name. Right, so one more heal for you. And can you move afterward? No, you can't. Um, let's actually see, if we move up here, where can we attack you? From here we could attack. Might actually be worth to check that out. We could still move one step back. Mm -hmm, let's check. Because yeah, these guys are still far. Okay, no. Doesn't make sense. All right, we'll just leave you maybe here, and then you can pass the turn. Is there a way we can speed this up? Not really. Uh, we'll get another slinger queued up though, because we really want a lot of those. In two years, we'll have the military drill, so immediately we will. Uh, that's actually lining up quite nicely. We'll have this farm finished, and then we'll kill build uh, barracks. So that's. Lining up very nicely. Um, let's make a couple decisions. Passionate plea. Reports have reached us that Queen Dido, the pioneer of Carthage, has made an impassionate speech in which she appealed to our better nature in order to solicit our aid. Mm -hmm. Apparently this speech was so moving it had even beggars emptying their pockets on the spot. Nobles donated their entire estates to the cause and one man had to be wrestled away. <laughs> <laughs> from a bridge to prevent giving him up giving up his life for Dido. Well, I mean she is charming. But uh, that seems a bit this guy probably had some other problems. Anyway, unfortunately or perhaps fortunately for us, the speech has lost a lot of its effect in being translated and delivered third hand. However, the gist remains Carthage is in need of aid and wishes us to send some. Ooh, okay. 200 stone is quite a number. That is quite a number. Are you at war with anybody? No. Plus 28. Hmm, how old are you, dear Dido? She's 34. She's fixing to stay in power for a minute or two. We're good with uh, Babylon. Uh, the dream is, by the way, which why I'm even considering this, because this really is a lot of stone. But we do have good um, mountain ranges here that we could put some uh, quarries in. And the dream is that Babylonia and Carthage go to war and we can uh, pick the spoils. So it would be in our best interest 
if we can have them be peaceful. That was a favor. Plus 20 opinion. I mean, is that all? That doesn't seem a lot. Plus 20 opinion. But maybe that favor can be made. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna risk it. We're gonna provide them the stone. <sighs> Close my eyes and click it. Okay. Land dispute. The Ramesides and Saiti families have engaged in a heated land dispute. Minus three, so, okay. The Ramesides claim that they have an ancestral right to a particular productive Saiti estate, but the Saiti deny the claim. Whose side shall we take? Mm hmm. Must respect the Ramesside ancestral claims, Saiti, or we do nothing. Or we take it. We get some food. Nothing else. I think we can please Saiti some other way. I would want some opinion. I'm curious for the future events though, but I would want some opinion with our warrior cast. So we're gonna go with Ramesside side with them. Make them happy. That seems the sensible thing to do when we're in desperate need of their services. Alright, so now we got the settler here, and what did we say? We wanted this spot, right? So let's pick this one. And uh, we are gonna... We could found another Saite seat. Mm, what does that New seed will not be connected to the capital, okay. Um, we skipped the family seed, alright. So the third one... Aha, uh -huh. so you have to pick plus two and rest a year. Wow. Okay. So that is pretty... pretty clear. We have to then pick between... Amarna, which is the religious faction, or Tutmosid, which is the science faction. And I'm pretty sure which one we're gonna pick. Um, especially since this here is gonna be our marble and... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with Tutmosis. They're gonna be able to build specialists pretty fast. So here we go. Oh, we got a landmark discovered. And a new technology, aristocracy. Very nice. Does that give us some? No. Oh, but it. Oh, we can pick an ambassador. Cool. Uh, plus twenty tribe opinion. Mm, Saiti family ambassador. I think since we sided on that land conflict with uh, Ramesid or Ramesside, uh, we're gonna go with Saiti. He is pretty decent. Yeah, we're gonna pick you. Basis. He's 19, he's fixing to stay in power for a while. And we do need an ambassador. Very nice. Right, so now we gotta pick something to do for this city. Oh, three years only for a worker. Well, that is actually kind of a bargain. I would love to... yeah, but we need a worker. I would love to get one of these um, military units. But it does take a minute too long, so we'll go with the worker. And that means our scout here is going to be free again. So he can um, keep scouting up here. Oh, barbarians. Okay. Mm. <laughs> can I... Uh, we have one more movement point. If I go here, they're probably going to attack me. Let's go be safe. Okay. Interesting, we got seven points, so we can... Did we heal this turn? Yes, we did. Okay. Mm. Let's uncover some fog of war. Oh, barbarians, goodbye. Hang on, so we got the barbarian side here, here, and there. That's gonna be three additional cities and one here. Mm. Diff called we do need to race the Babylonians they already are sending an archer there we do need to race the Assyrians as well though currently Assyria seems to be the weaker faction so if yeah 
I think it makes sense to focus on the Assyrian sites over here. Uh, because if they're already a little bit weaker, keeping them that way will enable it for us a possibility of fighting them later. Is that a sentence? I don't know. Um, we'll allow us to fight them later. While if we mess with both of them, uh, chances are we won't beat Babylon to this side, and then the uh, Syrians can beat us to the other one, which might not have happened if we focused on it. So I think we're better off. Zoroastrianism is founded, all right. Lilibayum. Oh, that's that's somewhat close. Yep, that's Carthage over there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 10% chance to spread to new cities, and we are pretty close to them. I don't like that at all, but nothing we can do. Should we heal one more turn? I don't think we do have the time. I think we need to uh, get moving. So, we'll uh, start fighting these dudes. Ah, oh, that's... A Quite a risk, actually. Might end up regretting this. Our slingers are for defense, uh, for attack. They're here. And if we attack them there, yeah, these guys can also help. Minus 20% distance. Okay, but well they'll have the same problem when they attack us. Yeah, but I think we'll wait for our... These guys currently have four, and they'll get some bonuses. All right, we'll bring uh, you up here, and then next round we can attack. Uh, you will skip one more turn. Because we need to be swift. If we uh, fight these guys, and then the Assyrians move in there, I'm going to kick the monitor off the table. I can promise you that. Okay, so no religion founded. A merchant recently returned from Carthage. It describes the unusual practices of the people of Lilibaeum. Following the teachings of the prophet Zoroaster, they have started making sacrifices to a god called Ahura Mazada. Mats uh, Ahura Mazda. Oh, they make good cars. Tales of sacred fires, animal sacrifices, and cosmic struggles between the gods are soon spreading around court. Will you support this new religion? Mm -hmm. We'll lose a bit of legitimacy. Minus 40 opinion with the Zoroastrianism. Um, is that somewhere? Can I see that? Workers. Oh, this one here. So we currently have... Okay, what does opinion for... That doesn't actually... Tell me anything. I don't need any opinion with you. Uh, where's our religious screen? There's gotta be something here. Ambition. Wonders. Help. No. Research. Loss. I... Hmm. Will you support the religion? I mean, sure. It does sound intriguing. The problem is... Yeah, we don't have any other religions currently. <clears throat> so if we can make the Zoroastrianism dominant, we could then adopt it as a state religion. We don't need the legitimacy. Okay, we'll say it sounds intriguing. Um, you, but I think it's more important for us to scout here a bit. Okay, there's two units. Oh, look at you. There's a thing. Tribal hunters. As our explorers stand by unnoticed, a tribe of hunters visits the ruins to check their traps. They go about their business, distracted by their abundant spoil. Should we, should our explorers intervene? Gain a trapper. Specialist adds fur. Um, we could for now, we don't need the food, we could use the wood. A trapper in uh, 
And was it? He's gonna be here. Plus two, extra growth, extra food, extra science, and spreads the borders. I mean, that sounds very intriguing. We'll then have two specialists. I think we'll go with the... I mean, 300 wood is very, very tempting too. But I think long term, the trapper... Because he's gonna stick with us, right? So now we have that trapper here, and he's just gonna stick with us. Forever, ever, ever, ever. So, that's pretty good. And we do have some fur that we can now... Um, where is that? Maybe next turn we'll have it available. That we can now trade or give to one of our families. Okay, nothing there. Alright, so this here is a... I hope Babylon won't be moving there soon. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's another city with horses. That would be very nice. Mm, do we have anything else to do? Not really. We can keep exploring here. So, we shall do just that. Let's see how far this land stretches. There's mountains over here. Well, let's see if we can come around there. Oh, there's a settler there. Where are you guys going? Ooh, beast of the sea. Your scouts bring news to Ecosium Bay. Water that stretches as far as the eye can see. The locals tell stories of a beast that moves across the waves, consuming and devouring the lands that it finds with its insatiable maw. But your advisors greedily encourage you to imagine the wealth of nations to be taken if there are really other such lands across the sea. Um, become the beast. All lands are ours to be exploited. Ambition and act colonization. We must protect our lands. And act colonization. How far are we away from that? Oops, don't need the timeline. I keep misclicking here. There we go. That's the one. Colonization. Vassalage, centralization. We can do that. Exploration, epics. Tyranny, constitution. Uh, up here, we need navigation, serfdom or colonization. Colonization would allow us to buy tiles, movement bonus along neutral rivers, serfdom, farmers and pastures, extra output, upkeep. Uh huh. So we could go with that. Could go with that. Um, centralization would be first, though. And we currently don't really have the points. So I'm not sure. But eventually, if we get the choice, um, we will pick colonization anyways. I could really use the military points. But I think long term this makes more sense. Because it stands to reason that our heir will then get the legitimacy. Okay, uh, and the scout can't do anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Kind of scary that they have a settler here. There must be a site down here that we haven't scouted yet. Next turn we get the military drill and we can build our barracks. That's going to be awesome. So let's get that and get a sip of tea. Ah, much better. All right. Um, hmm. We got cheaper techs, walls, and hamlet. Not really necessary. The forum could go with epics or exploration. We don't really have the points to do that. Odeon is an improvement. Allows poets and theaters. Okay, so it's a bit of a question where we want to attack. I mean, I do want chariots eventually. Of course, but I think we do already have... I also want steel. Moat spy master. So drama would lead to the spy master, though not quite immediately. Oh, never mind. Polis will lead to forestry. That settles it. 
We need forest we desperately because our wood reserves are running low. We could buy that stuff. We do have a lot of money. So that wouldn't be a problem, but I don't want that to be remedied soon. And it's four years, I mean, it's reasonable. Trade offer. Court merchants have arrived from Babylonia with, with an offer of trade. They believe our nations would grow and prosper from improved trade relations. What's our response? We'll pay money for science. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, we'll pay money for civics. Nope. We prefer not to trade. And we'll pay you money for science. That sounds very, very good for us. Cool. So now we're 35 science. And this is going to be done in three years. I like it. All right, so let's see what's most important. Most important is our military interaction here. Um, doesn't really matter where we go. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go on this side here. Uh, we could actually... I don't know, let's just fight these guys first. Number one. And then fight these guys here second. Yeah, we'll have a... Like so, right. So next turn they'll be dead. Uh, we'll probably eat two attacks here. That shouldn't be too bad, though. We have an, a worker available. And he will obviously build us some barracks. The question is where. I think barracks make sense in these city tiles, no? Maybe here? Hang on, there's few city tiles here. They're along the river, though. I don't know if that... Uh, no, don't pass. I will actually redo this turn. Maybe we'll just build the barracks here. That is also... I don't know if there's buildings... Like a city tile along a river. But all our city tiles are along rivers, no? Mm, we'll remove some shrub. So we get a bit of wood. Takes five years, though. Oh, God. Well, got to start it somewhere. I wish there was a way to speed these up. But I'm not aware there is one. <clears throat> we'll get another slinger. Um, and I think after that we'll uh, probably get... Another slinger. <laughs> oh, we have a run queued up already. Okay, one queued up is fine. All right. So what else we have to do? Nothing much. We got a settler in four turns, which is very very fast. Uh, five turns for a settler, two turns for a worker. And we're gonna have all our production out here. That's pretty great. We do need to lower our unrest at some point. All right, so we can move scouts. No problem. Now let's actually find out where that settler was going. Oh, okay, so the land ends here. Well, you can't cross here. Weird. Where did they send the settler? There's barbarian camps here. Don't tell me they're going to settle here. That would make me very, very sad. And then we have this guy here. Let's check out. Okay. Okay, there's another barbarian site. Let's check out what they have. Okay, the usual set of barbarian units. We'll uh, move you up here a bit. Usual set. All right, things are going to get difficult once we have three military units because they're going to eat through our orders rather fast. All right, things are being worked on. Yeah, the workers available next year. We do need some stone. We still have enough to build all the wonders except the pyramids. But I don't think we really need the pyramids. Though it would make sense. I mean, yeah, it would actually make a lot of sense. Hmm. So we might start constructing marble and uh, churn out a couple workers for road building in Waset. Yeah, I think that's the way we're going to handle it. Anywho, guys, that's going to do it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day, of course. And uh, most of all, I hope to see you back for the next one. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>